I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. Shall I compare thee to a charity? Thou art not like the ones that give, for thou dost not seek to help society, but rather take away what others live. Thou art an anti-charity, so bold, that takes from those who have and gives to none. A selfishness that's never been told, that takes away from those who have just begun. Thou art a force that's never been seen, a power that's never been heard of before. A way to take what should have been clean and leave the poor with nothing more. Thou art an anti-charity so strong that takes from those who need and gives to none. It's all a matter of belief. Wait, wait, this is not what we're wanting people to do. But it got so rhythmic and beautiful there. What do we want them to do? Oh, of course, we want them to learn what an anti-charity really is and why one can be good for your goals. But this is about not reaching your goals, right? A little in a good way, but bear with me. Use the, what did you say last episode? Mm, oh, you mean remain thee in this ample place of sanity with us, s'il vous plaît? Yeah, that. Have you heard? Of anti-charities? No. What are they? It's a concept where people donate money to charity if they don't reach their goals. That sounds interesting. How does it work? Well, basically, you set a goal for yourself, and then you pledge to donate a certain amount of money to charity if you don't reach it. That only seems like a part of the needed motivation. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. That's because I forgot to mention the most important part. Which is? Which is that the charity in each case is a charity with which you don't agree. Hmm? Like if they promoted something you didn't want? Like that whatever happened. Right. Or the opposite, if they opposed something you did want. Thinking, thinking. So if you don't reach your goal... Your money goes somewhere you'd rather it did not. Yeah, that's pretty much the idea. It can make a real positive difference in how you go about things. That's a great idea. It gives people an incentive to work hard and stay motivated. That's true. Plus, if they do reach their goals, then the charity won't miss out on any money. Since they weren't expecting it anyway. Right. That makes sense. I think it's a great idea. Let's look at this a bit deeper. Okay, DT, how do you suggest we do that? I suggest that you follow your heart. Indeed, goes thy heart with this? It does. Let's look at a few examples. Ha! Caught you. Ha. You caught me? How so? Did something fall into the wrong hand somewhere? No. Examples. You said, let's look at a few examples, but examples don't come until after the first break. Oh, right. Okay, so examples soon, not now, but a bit more context for the next minute or so. Sounds good. Indeed. That's good. Let's put that context as a review. Sans bien aussi. English. Right. That sounds good, too. So an anti-charity is any organization whose views you strongly oppose. Right. Or one which promotes values that are contrary to your own. So the purpose? To review, of course. Glad you asked for that review, DT. The purpose of an anti-charity is to provide an added incentive for you to achieve your goal, directing a little bit of money away from what you don't want. By connecting with a group you don't really like so much. Correct. If you don't get to your goal, that is. But what if you already have an accountability partner? If that's true for you, as it sometimes is in the lives of people, then maybe you don't need this. But getting people to do that is a lot harder than it sounds. Of all the possible controversial issues, it's the one that raises the least attention. It's the quietest. Okay, so if you don't have a real person as a partner in that situation, something like this can serve as an accountability tool. And this is designed to do that. Right. You don't have to convince it to help you. This is accountability on steroids. For adult children. And it costs nothing as far as I know. I mean, you're putting real money at risk, but it's only a few bucks. Okay, we'll go with that. So walk me, us, everyone through exactly what goes on. Sure thing. Now, that might take a few minutes. Oh, no problem. We'll get a break soon. Okay, so I'll just start then. That's my plan. Step one, you set a goal. Okay, great. That's enough. I'm more confident now than ever that we'll enjoy. Break number one. 
Hello everyone, this is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming. Are we back yet? Yeah, we are. Okay. How now, my noble friend? Pretty good, dude. And rightly so. Since I came hither, which I can call but now, I have heard strange news. Strange news? About what? About charities. And? And anti-charities, of course. Which you'll no doubt get to soon. Yes, but only after this public service announcement. This what? We must never forget the importance of charity. It is an essential part of our society, and... We must do all that we can to support it. Yes, but what about those who don't want to give their money away? What about those who would rather use their resources to help themselves? Ah, but that is where the anti-charity website comes in. It allows those who wish to use their resources for their own benefit to do so without feeling guilty about it. It sounds like a great idea. What kind of services does this website offer? Okay, right. Uh, we'll try that PSA again later. Sure thing, John. Meanwhile, could you pausa tell us about the anti-charity thing again? Pajalusta. Por supuesto. I'll do even better with a step-by-step -step example. I can't wait. You start with a personal goal. What kind of a goal? A quality of life goal? It doesn't matter what kind, especially not by my standards or anyone else's standards. It only has to be important to the person who is doing it. So is this like your step school? Exactly. For me, anyway. And that specifically is 12,000 steps a day, 84,000 steps a week, or nearly 4.4 million steps a year. Impressive. Not trying to impress you, DT. Just making the point. Okay, go on. So I pick one of those numbers, or maybe something related to it, like 400,000 steps per month. As long as it's an important goal for you, it makes a huge difference for you. Exactly. Then what? Then I tell an anti-charity system about my goal. Okay, what does it know thee for? It knows what kind of charity I would like to avoid. How does it know that? Because I tell it. Duh. And if you don't meet your goal, then the anti-charity site will donate my money, maybe as little as five bucks, to a charity of my choosing. Wow, that's really cool. Not at all, DT. Huh? It's not cool. Why not? Did you choose questionable charities? No, DT. It would be because I chose a charity which I cannot personally stand. You did? Why? Because that's the whole point. It is? Yes. If you reach the goal, you keep your money and it doesn't go where you didn't want it to. Oh, and if you don't reach your goal? Yes. If you don't reach your goal, then your money goes to where you don't want it to. That's downright genius. Duh. Yes, it is. Anti-charities are a great way to motivate yourself to reach your goals while also helping out those in need. So, what are some examples of charities you might want or not want to give to? Well, it really depends on the individual. Some people might want to avoid charities that support one worldview, while others might prefer to avoid charities that support the opposite worldview. It all comes down to personal preference. It's not all political stuff, is it? No, not all. For example, you can donate to one of a few competing football teams like Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, or Manchester if you want. But that can get pretty passionate. And that's a different show. Of course. So how do you, uh, this isn't really the best word I'm guessing, how do you win? I'm glad you asked, E.T. There's different ways. In the case of one website, you get another person involved to validate your claim. So even if I say I did it, the other person has to agree that you did it or your money is still gone. A lot of money? No, like I said, when I do it, it's usually just a bit of about $5, which is the minimum, I think. What companies provide this option? There are a few companies that offer this option. For example, Stick, 
and that's stick with two Ks, is an online platform that offers the money incentives that should go along with these goals. Are there others? There are when you Google them, like the American Cancer Society's ChooseYou.com campaign, which is powered by Stick. And there are other websites that could be used in this way, not to mention phone apps. Creativity wins the day again. Yep. So keep thinking about creative ways to do this, since an app that's great today may or may not be around tomorrow. Is this like life coaching? Sort of. When you do this, you're encouraged to take steps that meet your goals like a life coach would. But you get more alternatives. In one respect, yes. And you get habit tracking, which we'll talk a lot more in extreme detail. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to our podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, Sybil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. We should start an anti-charity. What do you mean? Instead of donating money to charities, let's invest it in something that can make a more lasting impact. Methinks you still require a bit more explanation. Au contraire, I was present during the previous two acts. Weren't you? Yes, I was present and so were you. But did you pay attention? That's another show topic, John. Okay. That's good. Tienes las preguntas, Titi? Yes, I have one question. I think tis much that this contentious storm invades us to the skin, but please, go ahead with your question. Right. Uh, The question is, am I, are we, they, or whatever, putting up real money? That's what makes a motivational bet, DT. But don't worry, your pretty little DT head. Por qué, Juan? Because, as I've said, it's not very much money. Rather, you look at it as a simple way to get to your goal. How much is not very much again? Remember, it's as little as five bucks. The point is is to get involved. Oh, so that's why I might care? Yes, because you still want to win. With anti-charity motivation, you can achieve the goals you should have anyway and also have fun doing it. It's all a matter of belief. That's a huge potential for a win. Yes, it is. So tell me, why do you think we should start this kind of a site? Because it's a blue ocean. A blue ocean? What on Mars does that mean? It means, kind sir, that there is not a lot of competition there. Oh, the field is wide open then. Yeah, yes, if we're patient and don't get too excited. Oh, that's not a problem, DT. I'll just remember my line about how good investing is like watching paint dry. Which is a really good idea. Since things like education, healthcare, and alleviating that old fear of poverty are big deals, which require a lot of patience. They do, but almost all good things get better with patience and the right attitude. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast our productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes... Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar. Psychologist, William James. Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite. Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy. French consultant, Leah, the do your own research lady, videographer, Eto Monkoshki, audio props, Les Paul, inspiration, many podcasts and other sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to get the links and stuff. 
and all those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices that you hear in our work are offered up by Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. They don't sponsor us yet but we love what they do and we just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, PodBooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Bensound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams. As well as from AI MuseNet, the sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding, yes that's his or her name, all on freesound.org, also, language is other bomb. Paul. <laughs>